privilege and we're here to be able to do a ceremonial bill signing which will demonstrate Florida's commitment to early childhood literacy. It really is a foundation of all of our life skills and a child's inability to read early in life has a major negative effect on the quality of the rest of his or her life. Uh, early illiteracy is tied to higher likelihood of dropping out of school and lower lifetime earnings. In fact, 90% of all students who failed to earn a high school diploma struggled to read in grade three. And there's a common saying that through grade three, a child learns to read. After grade three, a child reads to learn. And so ultimately, if a child falls behind, it's hard to catch up. We believe that Richard Corcoran at the Education uh, Department, and then obviously Chris Sprouse and, and his colleagues, really believe that this is something that, that we need to be leaders on. And so today, we're going to sign ceremonially House Bill 3, which tackles this problem head on. I signed it on June 29th. We had planned to do a little shindig on it, but I think most of you remember we had the, uh, the tragedy at Surfside, kind of pushed all that off the calendar for a couple weeks, uh, but we're glad to finally be here to be able to do this, to sign the bill which creates the New World's Reading Initiative. The program will deliver free books to students in grades K through five who are reading below grade level. And to fully fund this initiative, we allocated $200 million in the Florida Leads budget. Each month they'll receive a new, hard copy book to their home to help let them read and to improve their skills. We're not just talking about any book. In the coming months, Commissioner Corcoran of the Department of Education will create a selection of high quality books with diverse subjects for each grade level. Program will also include training materials for parents to help engage the whole family in reading. We know that book delivery programs like this are successful because they engage parents in the process, which helps improve the child's reading and their overall success in school. We also, in addition to the $200 million to fully fund the delivery pro book delivery program, I'm also announcing $71 million for early literacy initiatives through CARES Act funding, bringing our total investment in literacy to $270 million. Now, the additional... Now, the additional $71 million includes $61 million to support direct student interventions, including targeted individual or small group literacy tutoring for students in kindergarten and first grade, $4 million to provide elementary school principals and assistant principals with effective practices to help them focus on improving literacy within their schools, $3 million for literacy coach boot camps to improve the skills and proficiency of liter liter uh, literacy coaches, and $2.8 million to continue statewide progress monitoring through the Department of Education for grades K through 8. So this is really a big deal. Uh, we think that this will make a really big Im impact. We have the money that's being put in now. In the future, the program will be funded through uh, tax credits through that people can take primarily off their corporate, corporate income tax, and we think that that'll be a, a, a good revenue stream to be able to do it. This is really important. I mean, I have three young. I got a four, a three, and a 16-month-old at home. I can tell you uh, my 16-month-old loves uh, uh, having books read to her, and it makes a big difference. And they, you can see how that, and then obviously as they, as they get a little older, they'll be learning to read for themselves. It's really, really important. So I just want to thank the legislatures who are, legislators who are here today for their leadership. I want to thank Commissioner Corcoran for really stressing. I mean, obviously, I think we all knew that this is something that's probably pretty important, but if you look at the statistics and look at actually see that we can pretty much tell if, you, if you're not proficient in reading after third grade, the chance of you all of a sudden getting on, on the dime and doing well is very, very low. So if we can get that, if we can get the proficiency, we can improve outcomes down the line.